Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, but I am finally back, so thanks so much for bearing with me. I am in the process of getting everything all reset up, so definitely let me know if something doesn't sound right or if anything seems a little bit off so I can go ahead and adjust some settings. But I finally have everything all set up so I can go ahead and start making videos again. So let's go ahead and get into today's video, and we are going to be talking about the one and only Nikocado. Now I know if you guys have been following me for a while, I feel like somebody has been talking about Nick Akato because he always reappears out of nowhere into some drama as soon as somebody starts to talk about him and of course that is what has been happening. If you're unaware of who Nick Akato is, he's a YouTuber who primarily does mukbang videos where he just sits down and eats and he does them by himself, he does them with other people, he does them with his boyfriend slash fiance Orlin and in a lot of those videos they do a lot of fighting and arguing but that's basically what the contents of his channel is. Recently, Nick Akato has been posting on his second channel about his diagnosis of being a disabled person. Now, Nick Akato loves to troll people, Nick Akato loves to be over the top, and so I don't really know exactly what's going on with all the content over on his channel, but literally all of his videos recently have been titled, My New Diet as a Disabled Person. He has videos titled such as, I broke my ribs, I'm in the hospital, my diagnosis has arrived, and then goes on to upload a video that says, I'm disabled, Taco Tuesday. Well, another YouTuber by the name of Penguins Zero recently posted a video about Nick Akato where he titled it, This YouTuber is slowly blanking themselves. And in the video, he goes on to talk about that Nick Akato is hurting himself basically because of what he is doing. And he goes in to react kind of a little bit about a few things that Nick Akato has said in his video. One of the first things that Nick Akato says in one of his newest videos is, it's your fault that I am like this. So Nick Akato is basically blaming his audience for the situation that he is in. He's saying that if you guys didn't want this content, I wouldn't be doing it. So the reason that I am now disabled is because of you guys. So he's turning around and blaming this on his audience when really, I mean, it comes down to you. You choose to post the content and we all know that Nick Akato loves the attention. And so he is getting more attention, especially because this guy's video has gotten like 8 million views and he has 9 million subscribers. And so he's getting a lot of attention. Now, the video that this guy did post, Nick Akato issued multiple response videos to, and he was getting a lot of hate for it. And Nick Akato did call the guy out and say, uh, all your people are coming over and they're sending me hate comments and they're telling me to hurt myself. It's not cool that you wouldn't tell them to not do that. And the guy actually reposted a response video and was like, I made multiple videos telling people to not go harass people and it's annoying that I have to say don't go harass people, but I apologize that I didn't say that in this video, but I do not condone that. So the guy did apologize, but Nick Akato is still going on about this. He's still posting the same kind of videos and Penguin Zero has posted his original video and then he posted one response video. Nikikado has made multiple videos about this entire situation and we know that Nikikado loves the attention so I feel like he's doing this just to try to get more attention. But you guys, the likes to dislikes on Nikikado's video are just insane. I don't think I've ever seen somebody get so many dislikes to likes on videos but that's literally all of what Nick Akato's content is these days. So clearly it's just a ton of people hate watching. And But the thing is, is that even if you're going and you're hate watching, you're literally fueling the fire of him to keep doing this because he's getting the views for it. And so I don't know, my opinion is that he's doing it for attention. He said in his video that he has, I believe, three broken ribs. And it's because of all the weight that he has put on and the amount of pressure that gets put onto his ribs when he's coughing caused his ribs to break. But the thing is, is that he's posting over on TikTok, and I'll put this video up here, where you can see that he's walking around, he's stomping around, he's bending over, grabbing things. And I'm thinking in my head, okay, if you have three cracked ribs or three broken ribs, how are you able to do this? I feel like bending over like that's gonna definitely be very painful. Now I guess this could have been recorded beforehand, but this was just uploaded a few days ago after he uploaded the videos talking about how his ribs were broken and he's in the video and he's screaming in pain. So I'm not exactly sure if this is recent or not, but it's adding doubt to what he's actually saying in his videos because like I said, again, he does love attention. 
But I don't know you guys, like, is Nikocado actually really upset that this creator is talking about him? Obviously, with the people coming to his channel and leaving hate comments, he's upset about that, I'm sure, as anybody would be. But I don't know if he's actually upset that this guy made a video, except for the fact that he is getting those hate comments. Because like I said, we all know that Nick Akato loves the attention, and the fact that this guy is bringing so much attention to his channel, even if it is negative attention, yes, just don't look at the comments because you know that they're going to be negative, but if he only cares about the views, then he's getting the views. He's getting tons of views on his videos recently because of all this drama, which is why I feel that he's still talking about it, because the more that he talks about it, the more that he puts Penguin's name in his titles, in his tags, then he's gonna be able to milk that for even more views. And at the end of the day, really, that's basically what all YouTube is about for some people is, what can I do to get more views? How can I get more subscribers? How can I get more anything? Whether it's hate comments or positive comments because that helps my engagement. Whether it's a like or a dislike, it's still engagement. So it still helps your channel and the algorithm because it's engagement on your channel. So. Is that what Nikocado is actually doing? I mean, if you look at the content on Nikocado's channel, it's basically all the same stuff repeated over and over again. It's him and Orlin breaking up, him and Orlin getting back together, him and Orlin fighting, and literally like in videos, I don't even know how some of these videos remain monetized or even if they are monetized, maybe a lot of his videos get demonetized, which is why he has so many different channels, plus his Patreon because in the videos like they're literally like attacking each other and throwing things at each other so i don't really know how these videos can get monetized but this is things that he does in the videos to get people's attention you look at the thumbnails and they're all always over the top orlin's hitting me orlin and i broke up all stuff like that and those are the videos that seem to get the most attention to his channel and get the most views so of course why wouldn't he just keep repeating that over and over again because it keeps bringing people back so we know that he does this over and over again to get the attention to get the views so is this what he's doing with this whole situation i don't really know because i don't know what's going on inside his head but when you look at the past in his channel history and all the other beefs and dramas that he's been in with Trisha Paytas and Stephanie So and so on, he likes to milk it for as many views as possible. So I feel like that's what's going to be happening with this. So who knows, it could be going on for another week or two. I guess we'll just wait and see. But really, that's kind of what's been happening with that whole situation. So I'd love to know what you guys think about everything down in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Also, make sure you go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button and hit the bell icon and set your notifications to all. That way you never miss a future upload. All right, that's everything for today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!